Hey you guys, I just want to say thanks for the 300, I mean fuck, 3,005, 4, 3, let me check, 3,468 views on that video, you know, it was uploaded in September, it was like close to 9-11 guys, like that blew up during 9-11, that's insane, but anyways, uh, thanks for that and it literally got more popular than this video two years ago that's stayed at the popular like Dang bro, that's insane and it seems like you guys have been liking this username sniper videos, so Yep, I'm gonna make some more uh, Of them and also if you check my community I put what should my next video be how to make a username generator how to make a simple game in Lua Now I haven't been coding I will admit uh, I've been off computer, I've been doing more sparring and uh, kickboxing more, but anyways, today I'll be showing you how to, what's it called, make a username generator. As you can see, I attempted to make the video, but you guys don't want to see how that turned out. I'll, I'll, just don't, don't even try to like, go on YouTube and hack me just to see that video, but anyways, we're gonna go create a folder. We're gonna name it username generator. It can only be together, or it can have a dash. But username. I've already had made a bunch of username generators, as you can see on my channel. I mean, it's paying off, but you know, I'll just name it Ugen. Why not? You guys can steal that name. You can upload us something with that name. Anyways, Ugen C code period. You have to. Have what the fuck am I doing? You have to have a Visual Studio code in order to um, do that, you know? You have to install this application right here. You don't have to have this one. You can do it on something else. If you already have, uh, let's say, a IDE, your code's already set up, that's fine. So, I'm going to name the file either, you can name it app or main.py, it doesn't matter. I'm going to name it app.py because I like it like that. And uh, we're going to import, actually, we're going to import requests, import JSON. Jason, that's the name of my friends. All right, we're gonna import a Jason. We're gonna name import stream, import random. And the reason why I was talking weird in my last video, I didn't know I was talking weird because it was like a little bit in the afternoon, and uh, I was back from sparring at the time, so I was a little bit brain dead. But anyways, we're gonna right now we're gonna create an input. We'll name it number of usernames. So for short number of usernames equals we're gonna put this input in an int uh, integer that way it can't be uh, a string and if it is a string then it errors out because uh, it's an integer it's supposed to be an integer so we'll put number oops number of usernames to generate and they're just gonna put a number I'll show you what this looks like Control S to save. We're gonna run it. Python main.py. You have to have Python. Uh, ooh, it's f.py. Whatever the name of your file is, you will put here. You have to add the dot at the end. It has to be .py. So you have to have Python installed to path. I have a video on that. You go check it out. So this is what that does. You put in the text here, and look. You see how I put in a number, but since it's an integer, if I put in this, it's gonna error out. So. That's that, that that works like that, and the uh, number of letters we'll put equals int, another integer, input, number of letters, and it'll be the same thing as this, but different text, you know. So, since we're going to do number of usernames to generate, we'll create a function real quick. It, oh my goodness, I haven't done Python in forever. That's not a function. What the fuck? It's de a definition is what it is. We're gonna do generate. What the fuck am I doing? Right there. Generate. And then we'll put right here the code. This is where the code goes. If you hate the error, just type pass. I'm gonna explain what's gonna happen. So, what we're gonna do is, while we're here, there's an authentication API. Let me go to the docs. I think that's how you get to the docs. v1 and I'll put this link in the description so let me just make a text file real quick links 
to put in description and I'll put this one right here because you know obviously I'm gonna forget I'm literally like forget everything bro and anyways you're gonna find the one that says validate username make sure it's a get request which you can tell to get request by the blue get right there and not a post request actually it can be both because they're both but we're gonna be using get request they're literally the same thing doesn't matter well, actually no they're not the same thing but we're gonna be using the get request so make sure it's a blue one don't don't be asking me in the comments why it's not working if you use a post request you have to use a blue get request so we're going to put in the username right here to check if it's valid. I'll just put my username. Now since I'm logged in, it's going to say it's valid. Watch. Yep, username is valid, but it's really taken. But look, if you put in an actual invalid username, which I'll just put my friend's account already in use. Now notice there are codes right here. That's going to become very handy. So we're going to copy this URL. I would actually like to put a birthday in first just in case, you know, extra secure shit. So we'll copy this URL, request URL. Notice how it says request here, and then request here. Request is a big thing in web hosting, anything network-wise. You're gonna be using requests a lot if you get into generators, especially account generators. There are two types, I think there's like a URL lib, three, one, two, and request. Uh, but request is what we're gonna be using for this one. So we'll put it right here. Uh, what is it called? API equals put the URL. First, we're gonna have to put. You see how the username? We're gonna make. We're gonna make the username. Also, delete the username right here. Make sure username is blank and put these curly brackets there. See? See how it says username equals two curly brackets and then it says and request operator. We're gonna put username inside of the two curly brackets and make sure if you don't have an F in front of the quotation mark right here it has to be right here if it's inside it's not gonna work it has to be right there API equals F quotes put the URL and then the what the F does it's called an F string it's gonna activate this see what happens if I take away that F deactivates put it there activates with the username what it's gonna equal we're gonna put this right here dot join and uh, we're gonna put boom random since we imported random random dot choice uh, string dot ASCII underscore letters plus string dot ASCII underscore dot digits is what it is dot digits uh, now we're going to do four I in range uh, what is it number of letters number of letters and that's what the username is going to be equal to. And then we're going to do r equals request.get api.json. See, Jason, my friend right here, you know, he's imported. I imported just in case. You, uh, if, if it works for you without import, good. Use as least amount of code as you can. I haven't been coding in a while, so this might not work. But trust me, it will work by the end of the video. So we're going to do print. Um... We're actually we're not going to do print yet. We're going to do if r is not equal. Actually, r code. This is where the codes come in handy. Does not equal zero. Then we're going to put print username quotes invalid. Now we're going to go else, print, username, valid. Now what we can do is add a color. How, how long is this video? I'll do color next video. I'll do a part two where I show you how to upgrade this super good. So this should work already. All we have to do is do 4i in range, number of usernames, and then do generate. Now it should work. So we're going to do control S to save. Go in our command prompt. Do python uh, app.py. 
number of usernames to generate, we'll do 10, number of letters 6, it's going to find you, see, and there's the generator, that's how it works. In the next episode, we'll be going over how to make it faster, how to make it colored and designed, how to design the text, and we'll go over how to add a little title here, like you saw in my other username generators, and that'll be it, I'm pretty sure. But also, please make sure you check out my community page. I'll be posting polls on what my next video should be here. Uh, you know, I'm already going to vote. I don't think I can vote, but, you know, vote it there and choose which one my next video should be. Uh, I, I recommend you choose this one because this one's already going to be out. So if you choose this one, you're fucking stupid. So, yeah, uh, I'll see you in the next video.